deep to the Stars zone, battle along the boards. Stars get it to the line, but not out. Shot from the point, goes into this near side corner. Stars send it to the neutral zone, chip it in over the line. Storm back out the other way, swings it across far side, drop pass. Steps in, top of the circle, across tomorrow, one side shot, it's in the back of the net! Just past the 30 second mark, a quick passing play at the blue line, across to Joe Moore, and he finds the bottom corner. How about that for a fast start as well? What a pass. Just towards the edge of your screen, coming in. We didn't see him on the screen, but I don't think the Stars players did either. Came in completely undetected at the back of the play. Unleashes an absolute cannon of a shot, and it's far too quick for Richard Sabol. I believe that's the first shot that he's faced. It's a difficult one to, to face when that is your first shot. You don't want to be on the end of one of those shots from the net. Squirts free, and Roberts grabs hold of it. Sends it to the neutral zone, and Stars have to tag it before sending that one back in deep. Gets the ricochet off the boards. Out to the top of the slot. Quick shot, and it's all tied up. And as quickly as the Stars scored... Excuse me, the Storm scored. Stars answer back on that power play. Third in the league for a reason. A well worked play from high to low. Back to the top of the slot. Walks in and picks a corner. I was going to mention how they were gaining easy access into the offensive zone. Normally the job of a penalty killer is to try and prevent easy access. But they were getting in, they just needed to set up and they were struggling to do so. If intentional or not, doesn't matter. He'll sit for two minutes or less and the storm will be on the power play. I believe the shot just before it was looking for a tip in front rather than to go straight on goal itself from Craig Martin. He better trying to tie up the bit afterwards and getting a penalty for his reward. Tied up draw goes the way of the storm. Durflinger along the half wall gets forced. Across to the far side go the storm. Hughes steps away from the check. Noah Carroll back to Hughes. Back to Carroll. He'll walk the line across far side. Back to Carroll at the point. Across to Hughes on this near side. Top of the circles. Doesn't have a shooting lane. Goes back to Carroll. To Hughes. Across to Durflinger. And he finds the back of the net. Well worked around the top three. Set on the umbrella power play. Carroll to Hughes across to Derflinger and it's in the back of the goal well in this period the Storm have been cooking at 5 on 5 but you wonder when you take an extra defender out of the equation whether or not they'll be able to make it a lot more slick and make it work <laughs> Jake Derflinger has just given you your answer with a one time finish leaving the netminder sub all with no real chance there watch him just skate across right. here Martin lets it go to Johnson. All the way across and over the blue line, dumped around the boards. Just McDonald. about evading the offside rule there. Very, very close. Back to the point. Across. Holds, fires, top corner scores! Alexi Dawu on the power play. For a pass across from Grant Hibert. He goes over the glove hand. Almost knocking the water bottle off the net and what an absolute snipe that was he was wide open because of the man advantage found himself all alone in acres of space good pass across from I believe Joe Morrow will get confirmation in a second and doesn't need inviting to take a shot like that and as we get to watch from over the top great angle beats him short side set up in this near side corner with Yamamoto over the draw get it back to the point O'Connor quickly across pass back Shot blocked. Storm take their time. Skate their way to the neutral zone. Man busting to the front of the net. Backhand in front. And Hibbert scores! Makes it 4-1 on the night. Sends the Storm Shelter into chaos. An absolute frenzy. It always is when you score a shorthanded goal. It's always so crushing for the team that was on the man advantage when you see them going back the other way. I bet that goal felt like it was in slow motion for the travelling supporters here. At the start of that play, I thought Hibel was just going to get to the red line and dump this one in. He saw 
the opportunity in front of him and absolutely took it. Get there first. Pope check behind the back of the goal. Durflinger, who's had a relatively quiet night apart from the one goal that he scored on the power play. He won't mind that, neither will Flanagan. Not at all. Hubert, nice little drop pass across. And just as I said, he, Durflinger has his second goal of the game. Quiet no more, Jake Durflinger. And what a beautiful series of play that was. Started with the back pass. As coming into the zone was Grant Hebert. That's his fourth point of the game. He'll get that secondary assist to drop it back to his man, I believe. Ryan Hughes, and Ryan Hughes can feather it across to Jake Durflinger, who has an empty cage to shoot at, and you do not want to give him too many of those opportunities. Jake Durflinger makes it 5-1 to the Manchester Storm. 15.55 to go in the third period. Overhead cam will show just how tight that was for Durf. Game possession, take away right through the middle. Hubert drags past one. Gets caught up on another Stars player, goes down and can't continue his forward momentum. Stars take over in their own zone. Pass out was cut out by Griffiths, trying to cut his way to the middle. That one steered aside. Stars out to the neutral zone, in over the blue cleanly. Loads and fires, low shot, rebounds there, off a post out in front and tapped home. And for the first time in a little while, the Stars are back on the board. It's Keanu Yamamoto. The number 24, the Stars getting the final touch to turn it past the Evan Vendiger that was all at sea, caught in a bit of a spin cycle as we'll watch back again. Shot from out wide, rebound off the post, run out in front. And well, he's out of normal position because he has to make the first save. It comes around to his side. He says he stays square to it, but the rebound just ends up popping out in front. Sends it back. Noah Carroll trying to throw some shimmy shakes and backhands to the blue line. Glove down. Stars in possession. Wasn't a bad idea from Dawu and Heber. They've already got a short-handed goal today. Stars working around top of the circle. Shot gets blocked. Across to McDonald, loads, looks for a tap in at the back door, scrambled and just bundled over the line. It's down to a two goal game, there's still a minute left. We said crazier things can happen. That's the second goal that's gone in against Evan Wenninger, where you just feel he was out of position because he had to make the first save. And the second save as he's looking on at the screen behind him to see what happened. The puck just ends up getting past him to the other side of the net and eventually just able to be tapped into an empty cage. There was Dow there and not sure who got the final touch. We'll wait for the official call from Aidan Millen. Matthew, keep your ears out for that one. Will do. You have to wonder if there's anything left in this game. As it was Granville who was behind Dow, I think we'll get the credit for the goal. Oh, faithful lifting the noise here and try and see their team over the finish line. Dow makes his way in over the blue line. Put down low, chopped around the boards. Held in at the hash marks, sent low again. Arms around to the far side. Stars back to the point. Empty net for the visitors. Given away. He bears there. Chips it up the wall. Dow woos onto it. Gaping net for him. Across to Martin on the backhand. Taps it home. 21 seconds left to go in the game. Craig Martin puts the game to bed. That's two goals in two games for Craig Martin. As you wondered, was there something in this for the traveling fans? Craig Martin gives you your answer. And Storm fans can breathe a little easy now. Two goals unanswered in that passage of play. Starts to give the Stars hope, but when they pull the goalie, leaving the goal open like that, it just invites pressure. And in the end